Bob the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Set right in, folks, and next show's about to begin. Only 25 cents, folks. Think of that. One quarter of a dollar to see Belko, the world's strongest man, a 20th century Goliath. Don't push, folks. There's room for Boy, everybody. Bob, Belko sure is strong, isn't he? Well, now, Jerry, it looks to me as if Randall's picked a pretty good substitute for the bearded lady. Oh, I'll say. Imagine lifting those weights like that. Say, did you see how his muscles stood out? Well, he certainly is a marvelous physical specimen. <laughs> and does he know it? Don't know as I've ever come across a sideshow performer as proud of himself as this Belko. <laughs> <laughs> he did seem to be kind of puffed up like. I'm not talking about his muscles either. <laughs> hey, Rags, come here. Stay with us. That's right. I'll stay right here. You and Bunks and I got to get dressed pretty soon. <laughs> I tell you, Jerry, that dog of yours is like a racehorse. He's always ready to go. Bumps? <laughs> yeah? Did you notice anything funny about the Major this afternoon? No, can't see as I did, Jerry. I don't know, but seemed to me he was awful glum. You know how cocky he usually is. Kids at towners and everything. Uh, come to think of it, the Major was kind of quiet. Yeah, he hardly had a word to say. <laughs> well, he didn't get a chance. Belko was so busy telling the crowd how strong he is, he wouldn't even let the spieler finish. <laughs> Guess he's kind of stealing the Major's stuff. Knowing the Major, I'll bet he'll be beefing the Mr. Handel. Yeah, the poor Major. He no sooner gets rid of the bearded lady than another Amazon comes along to plague him. Amazon? For sure, a giant. That's why Belko's put on the stand next to the Major. It makes the Major look smaller and Belko more like a giant. Oh. Ah, gee, Bumps, I sure love this midway. Seems like I never see it anymore. Yeah, of course not. You're getting to be too important to the show. What you mean? Well, the more you got to do around the circus, the less time you have to see much of it. Mm, that's right. Well, I was rehearsing with El Mundo. I didn't get a chance to do anything but eat and sleep and rehearse. And, well, of course, I had to help Whitey in between. <laughs> I guess you kind of wished you were twins now and then, huh? <laughs> I'll say. I'll tell you what, Jerry. Someday maybe we'll just be audience. We'll come in like the rest of the folks and buy our own tickets and see the show from beginning to end. <laughs> you think you'd like that? And miss being in it? I should say not. Well, now, you're kind of hard to please. Ah, oh, quit kidding, Bump. You feel the same as me. <laughs> of course I do. Hey, Bump. <laughs> what is it, Jerry? Did you find out why we didn't get paid this morning? Uh, no, no. I haven't seen Mr. Randall or Bennett all day. Kind of funny, isn't it? Oh, I guess it's not worth worrying about. Of course, we usually get paid in the morning, you but... You think we will get paid, don't you? Well, the sign said we'd be paid after the matinee, didn't it? Sure, but... Well, it's kind of funny. Well, if Mr. Randall had to put off the time for paying us, well, he had some good reason. Yeah, of course I know that well as anyone. I'm just worried for fear something happened to him. Say, you don't think I'm complaining, do you? Oh, no, that wouldn't be like you, Jerry. <laughs> Guess Rags and me'd go without our salary altogether if it'd help Mr. Randall any. Uh, I'm sure you would, Jerry. Rags! Say, Rags, now come here. What's gotten into that dog? You better get him, Jerry. I'll head on over to the wagon. Okay, Bumps. I'll get Rags and meet you there. Rags! 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 You bad dog, you. 
Spike! Well, I'll be danged if it ain't Jerry. Spike, where on earth did you come from? Why, why Spike, I, I thought you were still in, well, in... in jail? Oh, I guess you haven't been following the papers much, Jerry. I got out last week. Oh, Spike, I'm so glad. Gee whiz, I, I just can't believe it's really you. Oh, Rag seems to know me all right. <laughs> oh, say, uh, how long you been here anyhow? Just get here? No. Believe it or not, I joined the circus in Fordham. Fordham? We just left there last night. Sure thing. I joined up with the outfit the day of the big handicap race. Yesterday. You did? Well, I sure did. I asked around for you, but well, you were so all fired busy with winning the race for that fire horse that... <laughs> you mean you heard about that? Well, I sure did. I was busting with pride to think you were a friend of mine, too. Honest, I, I just can't get used to your being back with the circus. Mm, me neither. But, Jerry, I... I've been wanting to tell you how grateful I am to you for finding all that out of Pot Flat, you know. Oh, that was nothing. Oh, nothing. It made all the difference, getting out of jail. And... Imagine, you, you might have been in jail for years, and it, it wasn't your fault at all. It, it seems awful. Yeah, I know. I used to be pretty bitter about it, but, well, I'm not anymore. Did they send Platt to prison? I, I guess I've been too busy with horse racing to notice the papers much. Yeah, he got 20 years. Say, that's fierce. But he sure deserved it. Well, I, I don't feel so sorry for him. Seeing as how he was willing to let an innocent man take his punishment. I should say not. <laughs> oh, so you want some attention, too, huh? Can't yeah, wonder what time it is. Seems like the midway back there was kind of quieted down. Oh, I guess about ten minutes before show. Mm, what? Oh, boy, I, I gotta beat it. See you later, Spike. Rags and me are both performers now, and I gotta make up. So long. All right, step on it, kid. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, and you don't know how glad I am you're back. Goodbye. Come on, Rags, we gotta run. <laughs> You sure got a good memory, Rags, remembering Spike like that. And spotting him in all that crowd, too. Sure, I'm proud of you. Yes, I know a good dog when I see one. Well, there's the wagon. Bunks will think we're lost, you're not. Sorry, I'm late. I, I didn't know you'd be here. Oh, am I interrupting? Oh, no, no, of course not, Jerry. Come on in, get to work. Well, Jerry, you're getting to be an old-timer when you can jump into your makeup at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. I didn't mean to be so late, though, Mr. Randall, but Rags here was... Jerry, I want to finish telling Bump something. Of course, I wouldn't want, uh, want it to go any further. You want me to go out? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm sure I can trust you not to say anything. I'm explaining to Bumps why I had to put off paying salaries until after the matinee. Oh. Now, you say this letter came from the authorities in Fort. Yeah, huh? special delivery. Got here in Evansville as soon as we did. But, of course, getting the circus up, we didn't have enough time to check the money. Mm -hmm. Imagine $700 lost in one day. Sounds like a lot of money. It is, and phony at that. What do you mean, phony? Well, it seems a lot of counterfeit money was passed in Fordham at the fair. All during the week, the authorities found it trickling in. At the last day of the fair, over $700 of counterfeit currency was taken into the fairgrounds alone. Say, that's awful. They must have made a cleaning in Fordham, what with a circus and a fair going on all at the same time. Well, yeah. Have they found the guilty people yet? No, no, not yet. Did you get some of the counterfeit money, too, Mr. Randall? Well, that's what the Fordham authorities wanted to know in the telegram. Uh, how about it, Sam? Well, of course, we banked our money every night. Strange as it may seem, only a couple of counterfeit tens got by Bennett. He's pretty quick and not easy to fool. But you see, the, the last day's intake, I didn't bank, seeing as we pay off today. Mm -hmm. We just held the cash over for today's payroll. And so you didn't know until this morning when you checked with the bank whether you'd gotten caught, huh? Mm -hmm. That's it. What about it, Mr. Randall? Are you all right? Yes, Jerry, luckily I am. A few bad tens trickled in, but considering what the, what the Fordham folks lost, we got off pretty lucky. I'm sure glad of that. Mm, so am I. Everyone will get their salary today without more delay. Well, see, I, I wasn't thinking about us. Oh, I know, Jerry, but now remember, not a word of this to anyone. No use letting a thing like this get around in the circus. <laughs> oh, I should say not. By dinner time, the story had grown so we'd never recognize it. And all the folks would be scared to death. Yeah, well, as long as everybody's happy, there's no use upsetting them about things. It's my job to keep everything going as smoothly as possible. <laughs> well, Rags, you hear that? <laughs> of course he does. Rags knows all his cues. Come on, fella. We got work to do in the parade. That's right. Well, we'll have to call you two Bumps Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I got an idea, Sam. Uh, what is it, Bumps? I'm thinking of training Rags in a bullfight act. Uh, will you let us perform in the ring if Rags can do it? Oh, you mean the act your dad did for years? Yeah, the same. Uh -huh. And Granddad did it before him. Used to do it in the arenas in Spain between the bullfights. What's that? So, uh, you tell Jerry, Mr. Randall. Rags and I have got a turn to do. Well, so long. So long. What kind of an act is he talking about, Mr. Randall? Well, it's an old act. Been done for generations. That's one thing about circus acts. They get so famous, they're handed down from father to son again and again. Can outsiders copy them? Oh, yes, but they can't use the original names, and you don't often find them stealing star turns. The name goes with the act, huh? That's it, Jerry. If for some reason someone sells his act to others, the name goes with the turn. Oh, I see. 
if some other tightrope walkers wanted to do the stunts the Bendinis do, and the Bendinis were willing to sell out, these new people could call themselves the famous Bendini wire walkers, huh? Exactly. Instead of handing down money, circus folks hand down all the things they learned in the business to their children, huh? It's the same idea. Star turns that have become famous all over the world are worth a lot of money to the performer. Well, I should think so. But what is this bullfight act Bumps wants to teach Rags? Well, it's a grand turn, all right. The dog is dressed up like a bull with a fake head and horns and things. <laughs> I can just imagine Rags with a lot of stuff over his head. <laughs> He'd have a fit. Well, it's surprising how soon they get used to it. Then the clown pretends to be a matador and waves a red blanket in front of the dog. Just like they do at real bullfights, huh? Yeah, the same thing. Only they put in a lot of comedy. And the act ends up with a bull chasing the clown out of the ring. <laughs> oh, that's swell. I, I can just imagine how silly a clown would look afraid of a tiny bull no bigger than Rags. <laughs> Well, I guess I better get going. How's your own act coming on, Jerry? Oh, you mean with El Mundo? Mm -hmm. Say, it's going slick. We're great friends now. He'll let me do almost anything with him. Well, how's your Spanish? Oh, muy bueno. <laughs> that means very good. It's got to be if I want that Spanish elephant to do what I tell him. Yeah, it's quite a lesson you learned that day you ran away with you and no one knew the Spanish word for stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. Oh, say, before you go, Mr. Randall, yeah. I, I got to tell you, I, I saw Spike on the lot. Oh, that's right. Spike's been a protege of yours, hasn't he? Well, I got him his job with the circus, if that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I feel kind of, well, kind of... Responsible? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He sure was swell of you to hire him back again. Oh, well, he's a good worker. The circus needs men like him. Yeah, but he's been in jail. Well, I know, but you helped prove his innocence, and I'm a pretty good judge of men. I think we can trust him all right. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to give worthy men a chance to make good. It's always hard for an ex-convict, guilty or not, to get a job. Why is that, Mr. Randall? Well, you see, son, people think that even if they're honest when they go to prison, that association with other prisoners is likely to make them go wrong when they get out again. I'd stake my salary and, and rags, too, on Spike. <laughs> I can see Spike's got a good booster, all right. Well, we're pretty lucky to have salaries today with all that bad money passed around in Fordham. Seems kind of funny that more didn't come into the circus. Yeah, come to think of it, it is. Uh, however, criminals know that circus ticket sellers are pretty smart. They think they have a better chance to fool the towners, huh? Yeah, that's about it. Say, the parade's over. I I'd better get into my costume. Yeah, you certainly had. I'd hate to have to fire you. Oh, say, you, you wouldn't do that. Well, I'd fire anyone who didn't do his work properly. Even if the boss himself kept them talking so they forgot? I sure would. Like I said, I'd fire the boss, too, in a case like that. <laughs> well, I'll beat it then. I, it'd sure be tough for you, us if you got fired. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Randall. Yes, so long, Jerry. Knock him dead, boy. <laughs> Thank you.